Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Hope everyone is doing okay. This video is one week meal plan. So if you've been following me, I have had the same meal plan for, well, my entire life. But what's good about it is once you know every week what you're going to eat, you can watch out for uh, these foods and uh, stockpile up your freezer. So the first one is hot dogs or sausages. And I try to get the good ones marked down. Sometimes I pay full price, but I really don't care to do that. Number two is hamburgers and lettuce wraps are really good. Number three is Mexican. That's what I'm having tonight. Number four is Italian. Number five is fish and macaroni and cheese. And you might be thinking, that's what I used to eat when I was a kid. Yeah, me too, a long time ago. Uh, a breakfast food like eggs with pancakes or French toast, grits and hash. And seven is chicken. Here it is. So when I go to grocery outlet, I'm always looking for hot dogs and sausages. So what I did was, let's see, uh, this week I bought chicken, $4 for like a tray with 13 legs, so the legs cost me 35 cents each. Sausages for $10, I usually buy them on sale, but these look good. Eight for $10, dollars one twenty-five each, and I usually eat two. Uh, today I had a leftover chicken leg, and I had um, a leftover sausage and I had some raisin bread. That was lunch. It was very yummy. And let's see, so uh, sausages. And so today I thought I'm going to go to Smart and Final and see what I can see. Well, I saw something really, really good. I never thought about buying one of these, but it was marked down. And what it is, it's a taco kit. Let's see, there's chicken carne asada and pork al pastor. So I thought I'll go for carne asada first. I've been wanting to make this. I was going to make regular taco meat, but uh, let me turn the heat up on this for a minute. But this is the carne asada. And you just drop the package. I drop mine in a little oil. Here it is. And so what I stockpiled was chips. And I mentioned to you guys that I saw these people buying large bags of chips and I asked them, well, uh, do you own a restaurant? And they said, no, we, we, uh, we eat them with carne asada. But I was going to fry hamburger, put salt, pepper, garlic salt, uh, garlic pepper and a little tomato sauce and taco seasoning, but since I found this, that is super duper. So uh, these pre-cooked uh, these pre-cooked meals make life easy. All right, so I will uh, just uh, remove some of the grease. You don't have to. Uh, this is one of those meals in minutes. So this is actually quicker than taco meat. So I'll just throw it in the sink for now. I never thought to buy one of these, never. But now that I've thought of it, I'll just keep my eye out and get these on sale. So this much, I could make probably uh, at least two gigantic, um, I could make two gigantic burritos. That would be very yummy. So I'm trying to find meals that involve less cooking.
I bought these uh, chips. I bought three bags marked down. Um, I wanted to mention one time there was these street people out in the front of uh, Walmart, and one was eating a big, a big container of salsa with uh, chips, and I thought, boy, that looks good. I bought them. Um, I, I went in the store and I bought these uh, cans of of spaghettios. Um, I bought them like two each. They looked at me like, what are we gonna do with these? And I thought, well, some of us eat them. <laughs> but um, I thought you could return them and get the money. I just came out of Walmart with them. Well, the next day it was pouring down rain and I saw one of them and he was in such bad shape that I thought, yeah, that's why you should have put the spaghetti in your backpack. So now let me put a tiny bit of sour cream. You can use this and I mean, it's easy to be critical when you're not on the streets. I think that would be the worst nightmare. So that looks good. So here we have my creation. Okay, and I made Thanks to the guy. A tasty batch of homemade salsa. This is why you wanna uh, store up uh, canned tomatoes. But I, that's one tomato about this big. And I had this, uh, these green chilies. You can use jalapenos if you want it hotter. And uh, here's the recipe. Just use what you have. I had reconstituted lime juice. I had garlic salt, I mean, garlic powder, onion powder. I had green onions, um, uh, you know, the chili, and then salt, pepper, and dry cilantro. And this is pretty good. Um, this is actually pretty good um, salsa. You can probably make better salsa than you can buy. Unless you go to a really good Mexican food place, then you can't. That is good. Okay, today I went to the thrift store and I thought I'm gonna look around and I found this sweater. And I thought, you know, by carefully searching around now, why should we wear sweatshirts when I bought this for six bucks? Just by a little planning, you know, you can look a little bit nicer and, you know, wear it for a, a, what I do. A lot of times I will wear my stuff five years. And then I sew it. So I have dry cleaner sheets. I, I buy them, will light, and I cut them in five pieces and then I just throw them in the um, dryer. I turned this inside out and threw it in the dryer for 20 minutes. It was ready to go. Here's my watch. I got fixed up yesterday. I will wear it five years and then I'll sell it. Sometimes I sell the stuff really cheap to let somebody else enjoy it. Okay, I made banana bread. Last night it was raisin bread. So I have plenty of bread. Oh, I didn't taste the carne asada. Here it is. That is good. So if you buy it marked down, it's like $2. So if you continuously do this, you don't spend $10, you don't buy a sub out, you don't buy good burritos, you just do the best you can. Ultimately, you're going to be so much better off.
I already ate quite a bit of this. This is good. This is my new favorite recipe. This banana bread recipe. I bought uh, marked down bananas. You might be thinking, what do you do with all this food? I just freeze it and then I get it out and I eat it. Um, this is a great recipe because it's very few ingredients. Also, use any um, fruit. You can use canned peaches, pears, uh, fresh fruit, um, raisins, dates, and it's going to come out fine. It's got a lot of sugar, though, so you want to make sure you stockpile sugar. Uh, this is the tea I like. For some reason, these packages are almost all ginger, no chai tea, so uh, this uh, peach tea is good. Eventually, I will drink it all. When you stop buying and you start using, your food goes down very quick. Okay, I want to mention homelessness. Homelessness, homelessness has drastically increase in the U.S., especially the West. That's where I live. It's so expensive here. Real estate shortages have driven up the rent. So what it is, the real estate is so expensive, people can't afford to buy. And so they're forced to rent. Then the investors have gone in and bought up the complexes, the ones where the rents, you know, where they had tenants. I actually lived this. My, this was my life. It was a small complex and the new owner bought the complex and wanted to get rid of all the, the tenants like me who had been there a while so they could re-rent and raise all the rents up probably so they could sell. And so, you know, if you're a renter, you're in a very uh, vulnerable position if you can't trust the person you rent from. And so as things get worse, once they have um, driven these rents up to the point they can't be driven up anymore, they're going to, and so they go, well, look, you have investment property. Yes, but it comes with bills and, and you know, bad things can happen. And I hope they do to the people who uh, who 30 day me. Okay, so um, another thing that's causing it, I think sometimes I think, well, you know, that time that the owner wanted his apartment back, anything could have happened to me and they would have cared less. Okay, uh, people are getting laid off and then they're getting in, evicted. And so if you're, if you're living like this in one of these places like San Diego, you really have to consider relocating because if you don't, you know, they want first and last month and a deposit, you know, it's a lot of money. Okay, now they are admitting that the food prices will increase by double digits. They're just saying double digits. Okay, it could be 10%. It could be 25%. It could be 90%. If it was 100%, that would be triple digits. We've seen this, but they're not admitting to that. So chances are that someone is going to be paying for this, this peacekeeping operation. And that someone is you and me. And that's going to come in the form of taxes. And that's going to come in the form of an increase uh, they're forgiving a lot of school loans, so, you know, somebody's going to pay for that. That somebody is going to be you and me. Okay, so we know where if you stop spending everything, the one thing you're going to need is food. They say there's two kinds of consumers, the one that's buy now and the one that buys later. So, to make sure you don't get caught without any food, you want to stockpile some food. And if you buy discount shopping, like this was $6.49, so I'm sure it was at least 20% uh, less. So, okay, so now what might go up? This is what we need to know. Fats and oils, I can see that. I usually buy the big corn oils, uh, the big gallons, three at a time. And I buy big tubs of Crisco because during World War II, when they didn't have any oil, the people almost starved. 
but you can save your bacon grease if you really grow. Fruits and vegetables. Okay, you can grow some veggies, you can grow some herbs, but uh, fruit is a little bit more difficult. So it's still possible to get some fruit in its own juice and get tomatoes in its own juice now while well, you can get it for a dollar. Sugar and sweets. We know that during the depression, they didn't have that much sugar. Bakery products. Yeah, I can see that. Like what? Like stuff that, that is made out of wheat. I don't think that uh, the Ukraine has been able to provide as much as they usually do dairy. This is not good. Sour cream. Okay. Uh, tortilla chips, though, can be eaten in place of bread. Uh, also, what I do is in my freezer, I stockpile tortillas, uh, corn and, and flour. Meat, poultry, and don't forget eggs. So now of all this stuff, you can pretty much stockpile everything except eggs and fish. So I have been buying some fish where I normally usually don't. I bought a big bag of til tilapia and if I find uh, if I can fit it in my freezer, I want to buy uh, fish, boneless and skinless. Okay, so to stockpile, if you stockpile the stuff, you buy at least 20% off now and you do the discount shopping, you're much uh, less likely to run out of food. Uh, Glenda Sully did a good video. She went to the food pantry. I think that takes a lot of, of um, she cares about her, her followers and she wants to show them, you know, go ahead and go. Um, I, I got a lot of criticism that time I was sick when I went. I thought, I don't care if I don't get well, I'm up, you know what, just like that time I should have been homeless. Uh, when you get old, you're vulnerable to everything. Okay, now in California, they're going to ban the making of new gasoline cars. So they want everything electric. And the bad thing about these electric cars is they're somewhat, they're somewhat able to control. Okay, so what happens if you need to evacuate? Um, right now in the UK, they're buying up iodine for radioactive you know, attack. I would say, this is just my opinion and I don't live over there. So, oh, smarty, you're over here about as far away as you can get. But I would say the bigger danger is heat and, and the rising cost of fuel and food. So I would be stocking my um, house up with uh, everything I could possibly need. But if there was even the least glimmer of possible contamination, I would want to prepare to uh, evacuate immediately. That's the thing. Uh, you know, Anne Heesh, who just died, I think is how you pronounce her name. I think she had a new car and who knows why it was driving crazy like that when she was killed. So, you know, that's California for you. <laughs> But our weather is so mild, that's why people want to come here. And our, our social services are so liberal. But when you get the social services, the problem is you can't exactly afford to live here. Also now, for a while, there wasn't a lot of police around, but now there is a lot. So you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.